everyone, welcome back, it's Gabby. Today I'm going to be answering all the questions that were left on my last video for my 200 subscriber and my birthday Q&A. First, I wanna say thank you for all of the birthday wishes. That was very, very sweet. And second, of course, I wanna thank you for all the questions that you guys left me. I was asked some pretty good questions and I'm really excited to answer them. So let's get started. A Stitch in Time asked me what fictional character would I want to be if I had the chance to be them for a month? This was actually one of the harder questions to think of because I instantly thought, of course, Harry Potter, probably Hermione Granger. She is one of my favorite characters and I, if I had a chance to go to Hogwarts, I would jump on that chance. But then I started thinking about how terrifying it would be to actually be her. And then I started thinking of all the other um, characters that I absolutely love and how horrifying it would be to be them. And I recently read Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins and that made me think I think I would want to be Anna from Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins because nothing scary happens to her. She has an amazing opportunity to go study in Paris, which I have never been, and it is definitely on my bucket list. So I think I would go and be Anna for a month. Plus, I'd get to meet St. Clair, which I think is a huge positive. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Leanne Marie asked me, how did you first start watching YouTube? Who are your favorite YouTubers? And what made you decide to start your channel? I first started watching YouTube almost probably two years ago. I came across Cass J. Tuck's review of Catching Fire, I want to say, or maybe it was her trailer reaction, movie trailer reaction to Catching Fire. Either way, I came across her channel and I just ended up binge watching all of her videos and then I came across Little Book Owl and I binge watched all of her videos and then Katie Tastic and then Novels and Nonsense. Months and months of binge watching YouTube and realizing that I'm really the only reader in my family and my group of friends so I figured what the heck I might as well start a channel and just kind of see where it goes and I am so glad that I did because it has been such an amazing and wonderful experience. As far as who my favorite YouTubers are, I love all of the YouTubers. I have to stop myself because I can sit there and watch hours and hours and hours and just go through so many of you guys' videos, but I guess I'll just mention some of um, the channels where I tend to watch a little more often, and that is Katie Tastics, Little Book Owl, Novels and Nonsense. Sam is amazing. I absolutely love her channel. Kaylee from Books for MK, Books for Tea, Lindsay Ree, Bookish Nook, a Stitch in Time, The Rainy Reader, and Boho Bookworm. Those are just kind of the ones that I tend to watch a little more frequently, but that doesn't mean that I don't love watching and enjoy watching all of y'all's videos. Jessica asked me, what is your favorite genre and what books got you into reading? My favorite genre is fantasy, and the books that got me into reading the most were The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. That's when I really learned how how magical books can be. I was asked by the Rainy Reader if I saw someone shopping in the YA section at a bookstore and they asked for a recommendation, what would I suggest? For this, I'm gonna go with the Leviathan series by Scott Westerfeld. I don't tend to see that series talked about a lot. It's one of my favorite series and I love it. I think it is great for girls and guys. It's great for all ages. It has really amazing amazing drawings. So if you're an artist and you really like looking at beautiful drawings, um, the Leviathan series has that. And it's got a really interesting genre. It's steampunk, historical fiction, young adult. So there's just a little bit of everything in that book. And I think that it is a really good go-to series. Proud Book Lion asked me if I eat or drink while I read. Yes, I do, and it is probably not the best because I get crumbs in my books, which is bad, and I have spills on my books, but it's funny because I'm not gonna let anyone else eat or drink next to my books because 
if they spill or stay in my books, I'll get really upset. But if it's me, I mean, I can only be upset at myself. So I'd rather be upset at myself than be upset at one of my friends. I love munching on like candy and I love drinking Dr. Pepper coffee, tea, anything that I can when I'm reading. Book Paradise asked me what inspired me to start my channel. I would say maybe tag videos actually inspired me to start my channel because when I finally decided to create my YouTube channel, I had been doing a lot of tag binge watching, like uh, book tags binge watching, and my very, very first video is the Creature of the Night book tag. I was asked two questions by these sensational reads. The first question is, what has been your favorite thing that has happened since you've been on booktube? I would say just getting introduced to a whole new variety of books, and of course being introduced to all of the other amazing booktubers. This community is so welcoming and everyone is so sweet and so caring. Those two things are my favorite things about joining YouTube. Just the community itself and then being introduced to a huge, huge variety of books. And question two is if I am a writer or do I ever want to write a book? Unfortunately, the answer is no. I am not a writer and I don't think I will ever write a book. I mean, it would be awesome to write a book, don't get me wrong, but I'm not creative at all. Not to mention I am terrible terrible, terrible with grammar. You have no idea how many times I have to re-say a sentence in my videos because I realize, wait a second, that didn't make sense. I'm getting my tenses mixed up. It just, uh, I'm terrible with grammar. So no, I don't think I would ever write a book, unfortunately, but I would love to read your books. And the last question that I was asked is from Monica Booklover, and that is, what is your career goal? Luckily for me, I have already achieved my career goal. I am currently a PA, and I work with kids, which I absolutely love. So I have definitely achieved my career goal which has been amazing. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for all your questions. I really appreciate it, and I had so much fun answering them. As always, comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!